what do you want to check about? Uh, what are you going to do for Halloween? Halloween's coming. Oh. You got the band got something going on with the... We did have a, we started with a collective idea of uh, possibly being uh, 70s tennis professionals. Oh. But the rest are really short shorts. But then we, we were hoping for no wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> which would be, you know, putting foot on the monitor and stuff. But uh, <laughs> I, I also thought about possibly embracing my bigness, my size, and in, in being a Viking. So I started buying like Viking helmets and stupid crap. So, um, but yeah, I think we'll get a better idea of what we're gonna do for Halloween when we actually stumble upon it in a store somewhere. So uh, we're we're still working on the idea, but it's it's amazing you can't find that kind of outfit like the the really short shorts yeah, and knee high white I socks really and the wristband and then the, the headband head head combo. Shit, and, I'm looking for that. I want to wash my car with the neighbors. <laughs> you know, like that. I want the neighbors to get pissed, you know? <laughs> you know, I can't find them. So yeah, so, but I, I, in all the years that we've been doing this, I've never dressed up on stage. Really? So, I figured hey, maybe it's about time, you know, exactly. we do it. Especially since we're not headlining and we're just doing support. When we're headlining and it's a longer show, it's a little more involved, and I don't want to be worried about, like, my costume. You know, I'm more yeah. concerned about the show, obviously, but. Yeah, I, I figure this this year it'll be funny if we can come up with something. That'd be so, awesome. Yeah. So what's the craziest thing that's happened on the tour so far? As far as broken um, <laughs> noses or teeth on the stage? Or... No, none of that. Yeah, just just you know, it's 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 actually been pretty chill. You know, people just uh, getting along, getting to know each other a little better. But uh, like I, I've known the guys in Shadow Fall for a really long time. We actually were friends when we were in our local bands and I was living in Connecticut and they're from West, you know, Springfield, Massachusetts. We used to do shows together back before Shadows Fall even existed. So we've known each other for that. And then Two Cents were out on tour with us with Static X a couple years ago, which that has a story almost more to it and of itself. The guitar player and I actually got to sit next to each other one night on tour and get stitches together. Uh, we were on an off date where we were headlining and uh, they were opening for us and earlier in the day I went to go step up on stage and my foot slipped and I whacked my shin and it, and it added a new element to my tattoo, a smiley face, but it tucked all in and I could see my shin and fat was hanging out. Uh, and I hobbled to the RV and I'm like, I hurt myself kind of bad and they saw it like, oh shit. <laughs> So we end up going to an emergency room and they're like, it's gonna be four hours. I'm like, you don't need to diagnose this. I can tell you what's wrong. My leg is exposed. So, and they're like, no, and I'm like, I have a show. I have a show, there's tickets sold. I'm not gonna cancel the show because of this. I'm not in pain or anything. So I went back to the venue. Luckily the ambulance wrapped up my leg. I went back to the venue, I get there and the guitar player from Two Cents is hobbling off stage. What happened? While I was gone, he fell off the front of the stage, hit his knee on the barricade, split his knee open. I saw his kneecap. Like the actual kneecap bone. I was like, so he sat backstage with his leg elevated, waiting for me to finish playing so that we could both ride to the emergency room together. And then get, and then it still took four hours. We got there at midnight, it was 4 a.m. by the time they got to us. And we got to sit next to each other on cell phone, take pictures of each other getting stitched up. But, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's been the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. And it's just cool that we're back on tour again and we're, we're trying to make a promise to each other that we won't do that again. <laughs> you got tattoos. You covered in tattoos, obviously. Yes, I got a few. Because of tattoo wings and things. Yeah. Like, you know, tattoo yeah. the rock stars. So, you know, yeah, this is just, little, uh, just a leg of I don't know what. Except for that. But. Yeah, I, I just, you know, when I first started, I was really not sure what direction I wanted to go with my tattoos other than the fact that I started seeing people with them and I thought that was cool. Yeah. So, <coughs> I tried to embrace, at the time, also one of my favorite artists was H.R. Geiger. Yeah. So okay. I was, and the artist that I was, the tattoo artist I became friends with, that was also one of his favorite styles. So, we really kind of in, dealt, like jumped into the biomechanic side of things and did some stuff on upper arms and then you know started to just like all right it's all yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but yeah and then I, then I started going oh maybe I should put some meaning behind some of these so yeah, yeah. some of them are have meaning some of them are just for looking at and whatnot but, but yeah I've been collecting them for a while nowhere close to done yet but yeah neither like, what other ones are yeah yeah <laughs> 
the whole face. The yeah, head. and this was a black and gray arm, and then my guy's like, you know, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know, let's color it in. So now I'm working on coloring in the whole entire black and gray arm for fun, but that's why I have all that now. Tell us about your new album. The new one, Smash the Control Machine, uh, recorded with Ulrich Wild, um, and we actually got the pretty much our original drummer and guitar player from Southern Straw back to collaborate with us and work on songwriting and stuff. But, and so it was, it was really cool because they've been off doing other things on their own and we've been still doing this. And then to come back in, it, they, like Otep and I were in a continuously growing mindset. So to us, this is our fourth record. To them, it was almost like their second record with us because they did, we all worked in writing, writing the first record together. And um, so it was really kind of a unique collaboration and it was kind of a cool little, little vibe and gelling back together and, and getting and it was crunch time. We had, you know, a limit. We had a month to pretty much write and record all the music, yeah. and it was like, okay, either going to do it or you're not, and there is no not. So, you know, we went in there and just worked really, really hard, and and was ecstatic with the way it came out. You know, it still had the diversity of the typical OTEP records and the fact that, like, you know, you never no record sounds the same, and that's what we're trying to go for. Okay. You know, sometimes people get bummed out because they want consistency or, or, or that safety net with their bands, and we like to have diversity. In whatever mood you're in, you throw in that record and you work with that. So, you know, it was it was a lot of fun to make it, and is you know, the, the, it's being really well received right now. It, it seems people are digging the, the single smash control machine, and so we're hoping to start. Lining up the possibility of a second single release, hopefully near the end of this tour or something like that. So, but yeah, it was, it's it's going really well and it's fun getting to play the new songs for people. How does the crowd react to the new songs? Great, you know, it's it's you can actually see the effect of radio, uh, you know, the help and the assistance of that what it's doing is because it's a lot of these fans. You can see where our old diehard fans are who know the older songs, but they don't always play the new song. Like, there's a ton more people going crazy because of the exposure that they've had to it so it's yeah it's it's took us a while to find a, a way to get in there and get that uh, get that hookup but we can't thank them enough for at least helping spread the word and just bring more people's attention to our band awesome awesome well evil jay thank you for doing this hey thank you jay the rock stars we're gonna have this uh, awesome stuff uh, so, so um look it up on the internet we'll be uh It'll be up. I'm very hungover. On the interweb. <laughs> interweb. Yeah, I'm ready to do 